This looks like a scene from As Above, So Below. I'm about to disappear into the catacombs. I have four steaks and two sets of crab legs. Yeah, that's not gonna work. We all love the luxury of living in a house, from having a shower, to a fridge, to a toilet, less likely to be eaten by a bear, all great things. But today, I've decided to give up all of those luxuries and live in a cave in the desert. Or, I guess a big boulder could work as well, whatever I can find. I'm gonna be hunting my own food. Finding my own water. That tastes funky. This is Ethan versus Wild. And if this doesn't work out, maybe I'll try something like Ethan versus Mild, where I stay in a slightly uncomfortable motel. I picked Southern Utah for this video because it's known for its huge boulders and sand caves. The terrain is not the most hospitable. I'm not even trying to be overdramatic. Just look at my knuckles. They're withering away. I'm really looking for a boulder that has a shelf, as you can see in my state-of-the-art drawing. I've been walking for a long time, and all I've found so far is a rock that looks oddly like a turtle. I mean, it, it even has an eyeball. You see, something like this could work, but it doesn't have a long enough overhang on the side. Only thing is that there are nests inside of here, and I don't know if that belongs to snakes, birds, rabbits. I've seen a lot of those out here. Make room for peaches. The flies out here are so desperate for moisture that they are clinging to my skin. I'm just gonna grab you. Eh. Can I? Yes, I can. Good. See, a cave like this would be super sick. Only thing is that it has two gaping holes on both sides that I just can't cover up and I'm not trying to sleep in an exposed tunnel, basically. It is cool though. It's like 15 degrees cooler in here than it is outside. After looking at dozens of different boulders. Yeah, that's not gonna work. I've come to the conclusion that this one is the best one objectively. So here's the turtle, here's a cave. Oh, and a crystal, look at this. Look at it. It's so pretty. Let me show you guys. After looking for hours, but at first glance, it looks like my biggest fear actually has come true. There is already an existing tenant in the back of here, which is a spider. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to find somewhere else. Never mind, seems like there's been an eviction. All right, I'm gonna clean this thing up. I'm really just trying to get rid of some of these sticks so they don't pop my air mattress. Inside of here, there's also little shelves. I don't know if you can even see that. See, look. It kind of works as a shelf. This is my mattress. That I'm gonna have to blow up by mouth after hiking all the way up here. Seems to be blowing up really fast. Oh yeah, this is much more comfortable than the ground. Whew, best purchase ever. Look, here's my shelf I was telling you guys about right here. Got my phone. It crumbles every time you take something off, but it should last me about like a hundred repetitions of that movement. Oh, never mind. I take it back. This is nice, actually. Like, I thought this would be kind of gross and creepy. I mean, it is. All right, I got more designing to do. I can't get over this turtle, it's freaking sick. I got my tarp, I'm gonna put that down. This will also act as a wall to keep like the gaping hole closed. Under the cave is done, but I need to pin these up on top with some big rocks. Well, that doesn't look creepy at all. Welcome to my murder dungeon. <laughs> this looks like a scene from As Above, So Below. I'm about to disappear into the catacombs. Now that this is done, it's time to make some food. It's time to get to the meat of this video. And I don't take that lightly, because literally all that I'm eating is meat. 
Not a single vegetable. In case you're curious, this is what it looks like from the outside. Like, unless you come to the side of the rock, you can not tell that I'm here. So, I'm a little bit farther away from my campsite because the food that I'm making is gonna be very smelly. So I'm gonna try to cook down here so that I don't attract anything to my camp spot. Got crab legs. Oh, are they supposed to be that juicy? No peaches. Oh, no, it's spilling all in my bag. Ah! Oh my goodness. My bag's not gonna be able to be with me tonight either because it's gonna smell like crabs. Good thing this thing is washable. One thing I did just realize is yes, I did bring the garlic powder, salt, ground thyme, but the one thing that I forgot, I freaking panned to fry the steak on in the first place. So, a mineral, I don't even know what that is. Yeah, no. Ooh, I think this is more what I'm looking for right here. This is like slate. If I can get a thin piece off, I could even use a piece like this. No, no, not for you. I'm gonna clean this thing off because it has dirt all over it. I had to rinse off all my seasonings because they were covered in crab juice. Now I'm gonna get the crab legs ready. These don't necessarily need to be cooked. They already are cooked, that's why they're red. They just need to be thawed so that they're like hot. And my easy solution for that is this tiny pot. Stick them in there, boil it, easy enough. Now I got my dinner done. I'm trying not to spill it. I have four steaks and two sets of crab legs. I wanna get eating because that took so long to make. You know, I was kind of scared that that rock would explode while I was cooking on it. And that's it, I don't really have anything else to say. I just was kind of scared, but it didn't. Do you see the squirt? Oh my gosh. Mm. Just gotta love the taste of unseasoned crabs. I also wanna take this time to remind you guys to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. All those are free ways that you can help my channel out and it helps immensely. Now I'm gonna go take this, put it in my bag far away from my campsite. As I said, it's getting cold, so I'm gonna take my clothes out of here and just change here. There's no one out here to see me, so. I think it gets down to about 30 degrees tonight, but my sleeping bag is rated to 30 degrees, so. And then I have a hoodie and I'll have sweatpants. And with the magic of editing, all done. So my sleeping bag. I don't even think I'm gonna go inside of it. I think I'll just lay it on top of me because it's too much work in this small space. But just like this, should be good. Um, it's very windy outside. If you guys can't hear that, the rustling. Oh, it's picking up, okay. Okay. I checked the weather, it's not supposed to rain because that would really put a damper on my plans of Honestly, I think this rock might disintegrate if it rained on it. <laughs> the surprising thing is that it's much warmer in here than I expected, because outside it's like 60, 60 degrees. In here, I don't really have a thermometer with me, but I'm wearing my sweatshirt and I'm starting to sweat, so I might end up taking it off for now. Um, it's significantly warmer in here, I guess, because I trapped all the heat in here from earlier today. It just hasn't escaped. I'm gonna go to bed. I don't know if I'll be in here all night. I really can't promise that but I'm gonna try my best. Also, I'm hoping that in the middle of the night I do not get any visitors. I tried buying a deer camera to set it up outside, but Walmart didn't have any. I thought that'd be kind of cool, so maybe I'll do that in a future video to see what animals come around my campsite at nighttime. I might not wanna know, actually, at some points. Maybe I'll find something really scary. Hopefully no one shows up, and if someone does, I hope it's room service. Okay, I'm going to sleep. I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering why I am doing this well. In honor of it almost being Halloween, I wanted to do something kind of freaky, scary, creepy, and I could not think of anything scarier than sleeping in basically a well. And also, let's not act like people don't do crazy camping all of the time. People sleep on cliffs, in abandoned buildings that are haunted. Honestly, compared to that, this is pretty tame. Clap, clap! Clap! Making sure there's no freaking bears out here. I mean, let's be honest, that thing was freaking creepy anyway. And I could have sworn that I felt a spider crawl on my face. And then, of course, it's nighttime, so my brain gets going and I start thinking about all the paranormal things, because Utah is a very, like, paranormal state, apparently. Like the skinwalker and aliens and all that stuff. So sleeping in that dungeon 
while thinking of a bunch of creepy things which is not working. I could not get any sleep. So, I'm making my way back. But this is not any less creepy. This is definitely equally creepy. It's time to deconstruct. Even though I didn't stay in here all night, I gotta give myself some props for staying for even a smidgen of a night. Maybe I'll try this again in the future. It could be a lot of fun. Just a less scary looking cave. Now I just gotta ask you guys, would you sleep in a cave like this? I won't be offended if you say absolutely not. Honestly, that's what I expect. And if you wouldn't, how much would someone have to pay you in order to do it for a whole 24 hours, or I guess like 12 hours overnight? Let me know in the comments. I'd be really interested. If there's no price, then there's no price. Oh, thank you, you're helping me pack. That's so nice. All right, I'm gonna get going out of this desert. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you guys had fun watching it and felt like you were camping with me. Utah has gotta be my absolute favorite state, or at least one of them. I just love the color of the mountains and the rock and it's just so pretty. A lot of cool wildlife, a lot of wildlife you don't necessarily wanna see, like bears and mountain lions, but still cool. I think I'm going to Arizona next. It's frankly, just because it winter's coming and it's already getting cold here. I might spend my summer there and I'm st I'll still upload a bunch of videos. Just kind of letting you guys know what's in my future. Yeah, so this is the end of the video. Say bye, peaches. Bye. And this, my friends, is the end of the video. Really quick, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who supports the channel on Patreon. Because of you, I'm able to continue making content and show you all of the beautiful places that the world has to offer. So thank you guys so very much. I greatly appreciate all of your support. And an extra special thank you goes to Robert Swan, R. Michael Blackburn, Scott Crutz, Brian Butterfield, Eric Fast, Michael Posh, Scott Sweaters, Paul Carpenter, and Britt Saunders. Once again, thank you guys so very much. I greatly appreciate it. If you'd like to join, all that information will be in the description, along with other ways that you can support the channel if you would like. Also, as always, I just wanna give a big shout out to the Cancer Research Institute. We've raised over $2,000 for them. So you guys should be super proud of that. I'm really grateful to be working with them. Um, and when I say working with them, it's not like they even know that this is happening, honestly. It's just me shouting them out is basically the gist of it, but still. The outcome is the same and they still get the help that they need. So that'll also be linked in the description if you would like to donate. Yeah, really quick, I know I'm gonna get a lot of questions about Peaches and Millie. Once again, I don't wanna, this will probably be the last video that I actually talk about it, um, cause I don't wanna have to talk about it every single video. But I know that there are people who don't know what happened to Millie. Millie passed away at the beginning of this year due to cancer. I've waited about five, almost six months and I adopted Peaches uh, about a week ago. So yeah, she's my new doggy. Uh, we're gonna be traveling around together and I'm super excited. She's a really good girl and she seems to be a little adventurer, which is perfect. Uh, so yeah, be ready to see more of her. Uh, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Once again, give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. I would appreciate it. Peace out, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye bye Yeah, that's not gonna work. Woo. It's getting warm. Oh, okay. I almost just fell off this cliff. Sorry, mom and dad. You catching flies? <laughs>